In today's cheesiest man alive, we will be proxying barracks exclusively. One, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. Marines or Marauder, it doesn't matter either. All that matters is that the units hit the other side of the map as soon as they can. Please enjoy and hit the like button as well, if you can. All right, the first proxy that we're going to be doing today will be a, uh, a double barracks Marauder proxy. It doesn't really matter what matchup it is, but... It is a TVT. You can play this in... Well, it kind of doesn't matter. You can't really play this against Sir, at least. I'm not... I don't think you can. No, 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 no. This is it's ridiculous. I would not... Even I wouldn't try that against Sir. No, this is a good build against both Protoss and Terran. And uh, as we're rolling against the Terran here, I figured this would be an interesting way to start it. Um, you basically open up with two barracks as close to your opponent as possible. Turn the, the first add-ons into tech labs. And then you just kind of take it from there. You do whatever you need to do in order to win. And most of the time that includes saving up a couple of Marauders, praying your opponent doesn't scout. And if all of that works out, then... Oh, come on. You're usually in a pretty okay spot. This is so stupid. Why do people keep doing this? I don't want to be scouted the entire time. Now, there is a possibility that my opponent went for a proxy Rex. Ah, he didn't though. Factory? No. I'm kind of upset by that, honestly. I, it, it is just frustrating to me. Like, it, I feel like every single time I play a cool strategy, I, you have these clowns that are just insta scouting you. I don't want. I don't really want to deal with that. Now, there is still a way in which I win this. And look at this. This is this is this is going to be absolutely key. So it's most likely going to end up trying to scout with his Reaper around to see what proxy I have. If I clear my opponent's first reaper that would be a pretty big deal right so i'm going to hide my marauder like in multiple locations but to hide them in multiple locations and hopefully i can clear a reaper if it comes to scout because that's kind of what we're waiting for here just kind of in random locations all right buddy kind of random location wait am i gonna be supply locked again no way no 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 way let's just go up I hate being scouted this entire time. Like it, it always happens to me. Why does it never happen to anyone else? Ooh, let's go for our low ground CC. It seems a little bit, um, what do you call it? Ambitious, I guess. You have a bunker? Forgot to build a bunker? That is also a little bit ambitious. This kind of, wait, what? Went for a reactor? No bunker? Did I just kill that Reaper? I think I did. Is my opponent dead? What? Did he forget to build units? What? In the actual crap is this? Now, I want him to come in and get closer so I can lock on to that stupid cyclone. It's actually important. Die! Die! Okay, well, that didn't quite end up working out, but I killed so many freaking workers. I still believe I'm in a, I'm in a pretty okay position here. Maybe I can clear this. No, I definitely can't. Oh, this... This is kind of awkward now. Because I have definitely superior eco. I think I killed every single worker that my opponent has ever built in his entire life. And we can even go in to try and verify that. But... Oh. Gets the lock on there. But my actual tech is freaking garbage, right? So... I'm just going to continuously build more and more of these dudes and eventually hopefully get a cyclone of my own. I am completely outmining him. If I ever finish anything here... Oh, maybe I can uh, maybe I can flank him. That would be kind of sick, actually. That would be kind of sick. We'll get Stim as well. <sighs> okay, don't even need to flank him. Probably going to try and send out another cyclone, though, at some point. And then I will need to flank again. Um, I have this thing. Are you building a starport anywhere or no, Chief? Oh, that's a oh, bunker. So he did have a bunker, but he was completely prepared for Reapers. Oh, that's hilarious. For me. Not so hilarious for my opponent. Maybe I should have actually tried clearing the low ground CC. I think I had the time. It might have put me in an even better position, but... Uh, I, I think doing what I'm doing now also has some, some real value. It's going to get more and more of these Marauders. And if he ever decides to pop out over here... I think we're just gonna get his cyclone it's possible by the way skipping the cyclone straight into a tank that would actually kind of suck that actually would kind of suck wouldn't it oh well that's life cheeky little cyclone here coming out um, should i fly i want to fly this barracks over i think 
see if we can do anything with that. My opponent is fairly unaware of what I'm currently doing. Fairly unaware of what I'm currently doing. Oh, come on, Kev. This has potential. This really has potential. Here we go. Here we go. Split, split, split. Die! And that's beautiful as well. Okay, here we go. More attacks on this tank. I mean, we just absolutely win the game here, right? Yep. Absolutely no chance for my opponent. Is there another tank or something on the way? No, it's not going to be a tank. It is a... Uh, he has a lot of workers, though. He really does have a lot of workers. I mean, I'm just going to get one of these. I have Stim right now, too. Which is hopefully going to work, help me out just a tiny tad. I feel like this didn't quite help me out enough. Not as much as I would have liked. Maybe I can kill this? I definitely can. Okay, that's that. I want a third CC as well. I really thought I had won the game already, but... Wait, I have... I can't recall ever getting the Maxfield Accelerator, but I'm kind of happy that I did now. Sometimes, you know, you're someone... You in your previous life did a really good job helping you out in your future life. Um, I guess I'm just going to get a little one of these as well. I actually wonder what my opponent's eco is. And maybe second starboard? Yeah, whatever. And then we get one more Marauder, and that's... Cool. That's going to be it for me today. Did you just... Yeah, okay, GG. Very nice. Empire, I will win, gets taken out. Now, not only do we win with a proxy, and thus we keep the cheesiest man alive. Alive. Um, did GG there, didn't he? Yeah, definitely did GG. Um, but also, I wanted to show something else, and that is my actual MMR. My actual MMR right now is 5.6. The highest MMR I've got with Terran, I think, is 5.7. So we're getting pretty darn close to having an MMR record. And it's not on my macro account or my serious playing account. It's going to be with pure cheese. So I think that is just pretty funny to point out. All right, let's open to the next game. All right, another TVT. And this time against Old Oliveira, also known as XY. Um... I don't really want to go for another Marauder proxy, as you know, diversity is the spice of life, especially when it comes to StarCraft 2 build orders in TVT specifically. So we're just going to go for a cheeky little proxy, two racks, similar position, maybe build a bit closer if I can get away with it, like over here. Oof. This is a tight position that you also wouldn't scout so quickly. Can I actually build here? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, sir. I can proxy, but I need a certain spot. I can proxy, proxy, proxy all night long. Okay, we'll go for a double proxy and I'm not so sure what my follow-up should be. We could go for a standard 1-1-1 type of all-in. Or well, I guess a 2-1-1 all-in. I It's just really difficult, I think, to, to, to make a, an appropriate plan. Maybe I should just Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Oh, actually, uh, no, never mind. I, I changed the plan three times in my head in the past 15 seconds, but I now will tell you exactly what my real plan is. Okay, my real plan is going to be expand into a natural and do a two base all in off of four gas with double starboard. That's what we are gonna be doing. Do I wanna scout at some point? Um, maybe I do. I, I'm never entirely sure. I think it might be interesting or somewhat important. Let's hope we don't actually get scouted. Uh, scouting, that would not be good for us. Do I need a second refinery? I guess, maybe? I have no clue. He's playing one barracks expand. It's time. Oh. That smells good. Oh, that smells real good. That's the smell of some ladder points that I'm about to steal, my friends. No scout. One barracks expand. Okay, here we go. You're gonna need to cancel. That's for sure. You're gonna need to... Well, is that for sure? Yeah, okay. He canceled. He canceled. He canceled. Now, step two here is going to be interesting as well. Ooh. So, what is the actual play here for me? We see a bunker coming up. Okay, am I just gonna straight up lose all of my marines here? I think I am. Because I should have built a bunker myself. Shouldn't I have... I should have built a freaking map. Is he still going? This guy has no brakes, does he now? Oh, this is not looking too good for me. How does he keep going? Come on. 
Okay, on the bottom side. Oh. Okay, one more over here. And then... Hey, he doesn't have any cash, though, remaining, does he? You know, mate. Do you, how can you have any cash remaining at all? Okay, he's going to send all of these back home. Uh, maybe I should just send this back home as well. And then go into a starport from here on out. He hasn't been mining for the past 15 minutes, it feels like. I don't have any money to build anything that matters. Um, I don't have gas to start a cyclone, which why the heck did I build a tech lab in that case? No one still knows. No one knows. Um, we'll get a cyclone after this. We'll still go maybe one raven, I guess. I think we should be capable of killing this reaper. I don't think this is actually a good trade for my opponent. Unless he gets two worker kills. He's gonna try and jump up one more time, isn't he? Little prick. Anyway, die! Good job. When you, if you say die very loud as you're doing something, there's a your, your unit gets plus one range. Not many people know this. This is a pro gamer trick, okay? Trust me on that, my friends. Say it very loud. And you need to truly mean it. If you don't mean the die, then it doesn't count. It, it will not happen. Yeah, I meant that die, okay? Like I, I really did. Die! It needs, needs to sound a bit high-pitched as well, otherwise it also doesn't count. Die! Uh, the, 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 what I just did earlier is just barely, you know, barely. Ooh, oh, what is this? It's barely enough. Barely okay. Ooh. What is this crap? What are you doing, mate? I freaking hate it when people do weird move-outs. They, they, they frustrate me. No, no, no. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. He's going to scan any. He looks like the type of guy that has a scan available somewhere. Come on. Shoot it. Poof! No. Okay, no scan available. Okay, one more of these. One more of these. And more marines as well, no? That's actually what we need. And then we're going to get a second starport. This is the all-in of all-ins, by the way. Not many people know about it. But this all-in, like, if you... If you can't win in a macro game, this is what you should be playing, okay? Trust me on this, my friends. I'm gonna get a starboard over here, and we're gonna build a uh, reactor with the other dude. Poof with this one. Yeah, yeah. This feels so good. This build is so ridiculously good. I've beaten players with this, like three, 400 MMR, 500 MMR above me. Um, I've also been very close to beating players, you know, that were high MMR. Like, it's, it's always a struggle. That's in range, isn't it? Oh, you prick! Who scans? What's wrong with you? Who does that? That is that is truly messed up. Scanning. And getting the advantage of the information. God, such a loser move. I'm not a fan of that. You piss off. Oh, you go over here. And we're going to be pumping uh, Vikings out like our life depends on it. Because our life depends on it. Okay, this actually makes some sense to do right now. I gotta get more marines as well. And I probably just want to start moving across the map. I mean, we have a bunch of units. It might as well. Might as well. Get a tank out. We'll have three tanks. We'll have a bunch of marines. And we'll try to go for it. I do hope we're not going to get into a weird type of base trade. So I'm just going to keep a little bit of map control as well. Make sure that your tank production should never stop. And viking production should never stop. These are the, the two things that matter, you know, the, the, the two pillars, uh, the two fundamental pillars here of uh, of the two starport two base all in after proxy racks. Don't forget about that. I really thought I had a default win after I saw how my early game went, but I guess you can only have default wins if you know how to micro with Marines. Very frustrating. I really thought this was the, the most brain that build I could think of. Well, it was. The Who builds a bunker here? Are you not okay, my friend? Die. Die again. I'm just gonna continuously shoot at these things. Wait, is that in range? Can I just borrow these or no? What'd you call that? Land them. There you go. I landed them. I landed them. I think I win. I think I win. Hello? Why are my units not shooting? Tanks? Continue the fight? Hello? 
How freaking broken is everything he's building? Marauders and stuff. That's pretty crazy. Isn't it? Okay, we want more units. I have so much money as well. I can get a freaking third base over here. That's the beauty of not knowing how to macro. That was in range? Really? That doesn't sound fair. What's my mate doing, though? Is he, is he setting up properly, or what is this? I don't quite understand what's happening here. Yeah, we're gonna kill this base. Gonna just siege it up. Oop. Piss off, mate. We don't need you anymore. Ooh. Ooh. That's scary. It's actually kind of scary. Uh, I did not like that. Did not enjoy that very much. I think my opponent might be moving across the map, though. I need more Vikings. Wait, he has Vikings over here, and he has Metavax. Maybe we should play tanks behind this. Whoa, did, 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 did. Where's my new Vikings? I, I need more of them, mate. I need more Vikings. It's the only thing I care about right now, is higher Viking counts. Let's see if we can fight. Ooh. That's a win. That's a win. This is a very big win for me. I'm feeling very good about all of this. And we're pushing forward as well, slowly but surely. This is also solid. Oh, he's, he's gonna counterattack. I can feel it. Why is he? No, wait. He's not gonna counterattack. I can't feel it. I am not feeling this anymore. I take back everything I said about feeling it. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Land. Are we winning this or no? No, we're not. And we have nothing really at home, do we? <sighs> Wait, he had 29 workers. Did have a third CC. Did he have any upgrades? I still believe, truly believe I was dead, but at the same time, I probably should have stayed in a little bit longer. Did I rage quit? No, because I wasn't angry. Did I leave, leave too quick? Yeah, most definitely. That's sad. Oh. The rays I like proxying the most out of all, I think. Beautiful TVZ. There's many different proxies you can do as well. Proxy 1 racks, proxy 2 racks, proxy 3 racks, proxy 4 racks. You can do it with Reapers. You can do it with Marines. You cannot do it with Marauders. But everything else, it's, it's basically fair game, you know? They can, you can pull out whatever you want and most likely no one's going to end up stopping you. So... Um, you're gonna move out across the map as well, little chief. You go over here. Hello, build a barracks. Thank you very much. You go over here. And we're gonna send out a fourth one as well, because I actually do want to go for a 4x. 4x is one of these build orders that is really uncommon, and probably for a good reason. But the reasons at my MMR have not quite been figured out yet. And that is sometimes just the case in StarCraft 2, you know? Like, some builds are just better at lower MMR and others are better at higher MMR. The beauty of the 4-Rex is, is that because you have more Marines, you need to micro less. So, <laughs> this is this is perfectly fitted to my playstyle of not being capable of microing anything that doesn't A-move. Um, like a Colossus or an Immortal. You, uh, like a Marine, I can't really micro very well. So, uh, i rather have more so that the impact of losing one is less big and that yeah that, that's actually just the entire reason why i play 4x now a beautiful thing you can do is you can save them up for quite a while as well because you come in so hard anyway with so many freaking marines all at once it's actually kind of hilarious can we afford an orbital before this i'm not sure if we can i don't know apparently not really i think i'm going to need to drop a depot as well as a result of this we'll, we'll pretend to scout this is a normal scout timing by the way is this guy stuck no i built perfectly i'm a genius oh wait he scouted me i'm not an entire genius i'm a half a genius right now half a genius okay um half a genius indeed okay here he comes what, what are you gonna do buddy what are you gonna do are you gonna try and keep this thing alive or are we immediately no he knows my opponent can... Ooh, he's fairly aware here of what's kicking off. Hello, I want to keep this SCV alive, that's for sure. Let's just go in towards the main. Um, see if we can clear this bad boy. If we can, that might be an issue. Uh, maybe we can at least kill a bunch of these links here. Oh, that this is good. This is very good. Him, the further away he pulls, the better it is for me, I think. And 
this queen is going to end up dying as well. Don't forget about that. This is an absolutely dead queen. He'll probably try and move the spine downstairs right now, which would uh, should be considered a mistake. And will be considered a mistake. And Zerg players in the future look at it and be like, oh, if he pulls with a spine, spine downstairs, that would be really bad. And kind of silly even. And here comes part two. Uh, we're about to have a mule anyway, so this shouldn't impact uh, marine production all that much. Maybe I should have waited for my mule to actually land, then it would have impacted it even less. And once all of these units come here, then we should be good to go. Um, they will tank for majority of the spine shots. There's going to be one transfuse available. He has roaches? I think he might believe that I'm playing... Okay, look at this. I'm just gonna piss off here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is it. Oh, it is now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. This didn't go very well. It's my life. <laughs> is that freaking terrible? Oh, we shouldn't have done that, should we? I didn't think he was gonna build roaches, though. Who builds roaches in this, in this day and age, huh? That makes absolutely no sense. See if we can uh, go around, maybe force out some other stuff. Getting a couple of... Uh... Oh my god, this is freaking terrible. What? Oh, come on. <sighs> Should I not have pulled my workers? Was I in an okay position? I was up three workers at this point. I, I definitely could have played this out, couldn't I? I could have just build a CC and then go for like a stim timing or something. Losing all my SCVs to kill one spine was not worth it. Okay, we'll play one more. And I'm gonna end it like this. This was garbage. Alright, a 5.5k is Zerg. Let's see what we can do with this dude. Um, that last game actually... It kind of made me change my mind a little bit. Like, is this really how I want to play? with freaking four barracks. The problem with four barracks is that even if you get the, C like the hatchery down of your opponent, it feels like you still need to kind of walk up into the main base as well. Maybe if I hide my fort barracks a bit better, the opponent is not going to be quite as aware of that fact. So maybe I'm okay-ish. Let's just start with a barracks over here though, no matter what we do. Um, yeah, I... Ideally, I just hide it for longer, but I got scouted last time, so it's not like, you know, I on purposefully uh, get, got scouted. It's something I obviously don't usually do. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll play 4-Rex, and hopefully we just don't get scouted. This is this is really how cheese is supposed to work as well. You know, if you get scouted, it's harder, and it's almost impossible to win. It often feels like the 2-Rex and the 3-Rexes, yes, they're good cheeses, and they can kill your opponent instantly if they don't scout, but... It often feels like if you do get scouted, there's not enough of a downside. A real cheese is when you get scouted, you just instantly lose the game. There's nothing you can do anymore. It, there's something beautiful about that as well. You know, the added risk, the added adrenaline of an overlord here, uh, just capable of coming in at any point and completely ruining your day. I feel like that is something beautiful that, that might actually be underrated. I actually can't recall if I'm supposed to build a, an orbital command or not with this particular build order. I think I... I, I don't think I actually can. That's the thing. I'll we'll just get a, uh, another depot over here. I just don't think I have the cash available. And then I can use one of these uh, SEVs instead to just build another uh, another depot. Maybe eventually I can get it, but definitely not immediately. It just seems impossible. Probably should have scouted a bit faster, though. I'm just going to chill here and wait for a bit. Oh. Pretend like we're going back home. If I can kill that Overlord, that would be big. I think I can kill that Overlord. That's going to be big. Oh, Marines are approaching. Oh, piss off, you massive prick. That's so lame. No way. You can actually hold this, though, can you, mate? I want to clear this thing. And I actually need to start losing some units because I'm going to be supply blocked otherwise. Which <laughs> is a, th this, these are first world problems, you know? Like, oh, I have so many Marines, I'm getting supply blocked. That is a free one. If you don't scout this build, I don't think there's anything you can do. Single G will count that as the GG and will also count this as the end 
of uh, today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it as uh, not a single game without GG. It feels like cheese is so normalized for Terrans that whenever I properly cheese with Terran, people are like, oh, that's normal because Terrans are, Terrans are just cheesy pricks. When I do it with Zerg, I never get freaking GGs. It's actually crazy. All right, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time for a new video. Adios.